Hi boys and girls, um, today we are going to be drawing a guinea pig and this is a request by Hayley in grade 2 who has been begging me for days for us to draw a guinea pig and so we're finally getting to give her a chance. Uh, guinea pigs are really cute little pets. Uh, we have two guinea pigs at home and they are just so much fun. So we are going to I'm going to use watercolors today just for a change just because I feel like it but you can use whatever you want if you want to use your pencil crowns or your cookies um, whatever you have on hand at home you can use them I'm going to be drawing in pen so it's nice and clear on the video but um, what's a good idea to draw with watercolors is, is to first if you're not sure to first draw in pencil very lightly and then to go over it with a pencil crayon like a brown or a peach color or something quite neutral that's going to match and then you can rub out the um the pencil marks but pencil and watercolors do not go very well together they tend that pencil mark tends to kind of make the colors very muddy so try and whatever you do to get rid of the pencil um or you can draw in pencil and go over pen and then rub out or go over in pencil crown and rub out and you'll still be able to see your lines clearly Right, we are going to start with his eye, and the guinea pigs have got a beautiful big eye. Guinea pigs are such friendly little animals. And so we are going to do two curved lines for his eye. And I'm going to put two little circles inside that are catching the light. And I'm going to put very close to that, I'm going to put another two curved lines with a little border around his eye just like that and you can see I've got my page landscape and I've started just a little bit on the right hand side we're going to draw him in the middle here right I'm going to go up above his eye and I'm going to draw the top of his head and I'm going to end um, where his nose is which is just past his eye coming down over there and so we're going to come from the top of his head and we're just going to do a little gentle curve line that comes down forward we're going to do his little nose a very soft curve line down his side and then under his chin For his nose, I'm going to put in a little curve here, and his nose is, and his nose is on the other side. And the guinea pig has this cute little mouth that kind of is like a little upside down wing, so I'll put that in there as well. Right, I'm going to carry on and do his body first, which is very simple, and then we're going to put in his ears. Remember when we're drawing and we've got half an animal in particular Like a fish with no fins or a guinea pig with no ears. He's gonna look a bit bit funny until he's actually complete A guinea pig has got a very sort of oval shape So he goes up over his head and then down you can imagine coming to the middle of his back and I'm gonna come around and just adding in some some marks round nice and round guinea pigs are love to eat they could just eat all day and up again so it's really just a sort of oval shape I'm gonna put in his little paw over here hiding so I'm just gonna do a straight line with a curve line on top and I'm gonna do three toes and guinea pigs have long sort of paws on their toes. I can need to cut them every now and then. Right, he looks very odd still, but he's missing his ears and his patches so that, and his whiskers. So let's get on. Above his eye here, guinea pigs have surprisingly large ears. And they're kind of sort of flopsy. So I'll put one like that. And then we can just close off that shape. With some fur and behind here we can put we can see his other ear 
let's put on some of his whiskers so around here let me just put a few little marks and just a couple of short whiskers right what's special and cute about a guinea pig is he's always got some kind of peculiar pattern on his fur there are so many different types of guinea pigs i'm going to do a sort of furry line that comes over his eye and then I'm going to curve back towards his eye button down and I'm going to come back behind his ear and up and let me bring this behind his ear and I'm going to come to his back here and I'm just going to do some a line just with some little strokes for his fur And then I'll put another area with another stripe at the back. And you can see that these lines are not straight. They're not just coming straight. They are following the contour of his body. They are curving it with his body as well. I feel like my guinea pig needs to have another foot here. So I'm going to do another little bit of furry, furry, furry of his body and the little toes sticking out the bottom. What's interesting about guinea pigs is that they are actually herd animals. So it's quite cool to keep one guinea pig just on its own. It gets incredibly lonely. They are used to living in little groups and families. And so in some countries it's actually illegal to keep only one guinea pig by itself. All right, there he is. He's very simple. Guinea pigs have no tails. Right. I am going to color his eye in black. In fact, I'm just going to use my watercolors. I'm going to continue with my dry brush technique. I've got my size two and my size zero brushes, just like you have at home. So I'm going to stick with those to make sure that you can follow along with me. I've got my watercolors. I have my clean water jar and my dirty water jar for washing my brushes. This one is for mixing paint. And I've got my very important piece of kitchen towel you can use a tissue or an old rag or some toilet paper anything to blot your brush on and i'm going to start with some black and we can also remember our dry brush technique um because i want to do the small area in his eye i'm going to use my zero brush my little brush little brush for small areas and big brush for big areas so i'm just activating my black i've got some water on there and I want it nice and dark and what I want to avoid is anything that is too watery so if I'm chasing any droplets of water around on my page then I must stop and blot my brush and you can see also I'm holding my brush right at the bottom so I've got very good control which you need for dry brush technique and I'm only painting with the very tip of my brush And I'm leaving those white spots the twinkle in his eye knee pigs are very mischievous so they need a little twinkle in their eye. And let's have a look at browns let me find another spot for this I wanted my three colors separate there we go so I've got yellow ochre and burnt sienna and a little bit of black if you have the other brown in your color set then you can use that right Remember, if I want to make a light color, then I'm going to add more water. I'm not going to use my white. I'm thinking that I want to give him a sort of ready, gingery, ready brownie color here, and then the white, and then that brown again here, and then a nice dark brown over here, a nice chocolatey brown. And I think I'm going to start with this chocolatey brown one because it looks easy. Easy place start easy place to start and the way I'm going to make that is I'm going to take a little bit of black and mix it with my burnt sienna and I get a nice chocolate brown let me taste it out and it makes a nice lovely chocolatey brown now I want to be thoughtful about my strokes just painting with the tip of my brush 
and because he's got fur I want my strokes of my brush to follow the direction that I think his fur is going I want to make it a bit more ready so I'm going to come back to my um, in it and I'm going to add in a touch of this, of this yellow oak as well just to break, break it up I'm going to use the same color again and mix up some more matter if my color browns are different it's the only thing about when you're drawing animals that there's so much variation in nature so I don't need to worry if it's a slight change down here I want my strokes to come down his cheek under his eyes and it's going to give me this idea of his little face guinea pigs predominantly eat hay and they can eat, they basically eat all day. They could eat, they eat and then they sleep and then they wake up and eat some more. And that's pretty much all they do. And they love people. In fact, our guinea pigs, all we need to do is to jingle our keys in the kitchen and they start squeaking because they know that maybe food is coming. As soon as it gets a bit scratchy, I pick up another little bit of paint with the tip of my brush. And I'm carefully painting in the lines that I've drawn. I put all this effort into drawing the lines and then I don't paint in them. Then what's the point? And I want to draw a bit of attention to his eyes, so I'm just putting a little bit of extra dark under his eye. And maybe this front part going down his nose. See, I'm still working with this color. I also want to add a little bit of depth at the bottom of his body. I'm going to make it very light now. I'm going to add lots of water. I'm going to need my brush. My, I'm going to need my towel. And I want to just add a slight wash, just very light, even lighter, even lighter. Just a slight shadow in there on his white bit. And his nose. Yeah, put it a little bit over the top of his head as well. Just to give him some shape. I'm going to go back to my dark brown, so burn sienna and a little bit of black and I want to add a little bit of extra dimension here. Oh, that's very dark. Stop straight away if I don't like the color and adjust. Let me test it and I can layer another little darker layer here as well. Giving him that little round, cute little shape. I'm going to do his ears dark as well. Remember, if you are going to a small area and you're struggling with this number two brush, then change to your number zero brush. Okay, let me that dry. Don't forget that other little ear at the back. And, oh, I almost forgot his little feet. Let me get that light, a bit of lighter brown. Let's give his toes a little something. Right, and finally, I want to give him a little shadow. And so I don't want to just be brown, brown, brown all the time. I'm going to use my brown, but I'm going to add a little bit of green. So I've got my green here where I was mixing the other day. I'm just going to reactivate some of that. And um, I want to 
paint it a bit dark and just pull in a bit more blue and down at the bottom here I want to add just a bit of a shadow for him and I'm going to let that to dry right do, the rest of him is dry already I want to look and see can I layer another little layer of color on him that's going to just deepen and add more detail I'm going to change to my zero brush I can see that I would like to in fact make some of his ear looks a little bit unfinished so with my little brush I'm just layering in some dark some darker tones just on the inside of his ear I'm not covering all of it maybe just around the edge a little bit on the edge of that ear it's behind so it can be darker Maybe I'll put a little bit of brown around his eye. We really want his character to come out. I can also, with the zero brush, I can actually make little, little marks and it actually starts to look like his fur. So I'm just in a few patches, you can add little groups of small little marks. And if you can see that on the video, maybe that you'll be able to see more clearly. It doesn't have to be everywhere. Just some little patches going around the shape of him, find those contours, and we see his fur coming to the back. I'm going to layer the last bit of green. Let me change back to my bigger brush. This is dry now. The wonder of dry brush technique is that it dries so quickly. And I want to lay a last bit of green on here just to make it a bit darker. And more vibrant, especially right under him where that shadow is. And there we have a very cute little guinea pig drawing. I hope you two enjoyed it. Give him a name and um, also give your pets a big kiss and hug during lockdown. Um, they can really help us to put a smile on our faces and they need good looking after. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope that you have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow.